Over here in track one in the yard, I see some gondolas. Call them gons for short, but it means gondolas. They have an open top, and they're used for carrying a multitude of products. These particular cars, I think, are in use by the maintenance and way department for hauling cross ties and switches and track material and stuff like that. But you can haul just about any product in a gondola that you want to. It's a Conrail gondola. The paint's wore off and I can't read the number from this angle. Let's stop at this point and take a look at this gondola and talk a little bit about the various parts and locations on the car. Let's put a check mark right here on the B end of the car. How do we know it's the B end of the car? It's the end where the handbrake is. Once you know where the B end of a car is, you can determine every other location there is on the car. For example, now let's just imagine that you're standing right here between the rails on the B end of the car facing the car. Right here will always be the left side of the car. It can't be changed. That's the left side of the car. This particular car has four axles. The axle on the B end of the car is always the number one axle. So common sense tells you the other side of the car is the R side for the right side of the car. So let's determine the location of the wheels. This wheel here is L1. L2. Then there's L3 and L4. So from the B end on the other side, the wheels will be R1, R2, R3, and R4. Let's say I'm inspecting the train and I see a hot box. I see fire and smoke coming out of the wheel on the left side of the car there. But I'd call a dispatcher and tell him precisely the hot box was at L2 on this particular car. You might wonder why they would want to know the exact location when you can see the fire and smoke coming out. But by the time the poor repairman gets there to replace that wheel, if the car has been parked and set out, it'll be cooled off. He'll have no idea which car it was, which wheel it was that was running hot, unless somebody told him. So reporting the exact location of a defect is always a good thing. The other end of the car where there is no handbrake is always called the A end of the car. Suppose I wanted to report a broke ladder that I'm afraid some trainman might climb on and get hurt. By knowing locations, I could report the exact ladder by saying BL in ladder, BL side ladder, AL in ladder, AL side ladder, or the right side ends and side ladders, and be exactly precise as to where the broke ladder was. If I found a broke or damaged couple, I could be more precise by telling them B end or A end so they know where to look for the broker cracked defective coupler. So it's always a good thing to know how to determine locations on a rail car. I'm sure a good many of you rail fans out there already knew what I've been talking about here. But then again, some people might not know. They're the ones I'm talking to in this video. Thank you for watching my video.